105,000 British Jews and their allies marched through the streets of central London yesterday in a show of solidarity against anti-Semitism. This is after a staggering rise of 1,350% in hate incidents against people of Jewish faith in this country since the conflict between Israel and Hamas broke out on the 7th of October. Prominent political and public figures were in attendance, including former Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his wife Carrie. And I was there too, to call for an end to hatred against the Jewish community. Bring them home! Bring them home! It's Sunday afternoon and I'm standing here on what we think is going to be the biggest march against anti-Semitism for the last 87 years. I'm Jewish and in the last few weeks these are some of the messages that are in my telephone. You should be killed, your body should be cut into quarters and you should be thrown over Gaza, you filthy Jewish May you be cast into a pit, may you be cursed for all eternity. And just some of the messages that I've received recently. Never again is now. 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 Oh, beautiful sign, that's my sign. Do you love that? Look at that. Anti-Semitism, sadly, is a a virus that remains beneath the floorboards, always waiting to, to come out, to be uh, potentiated, to come to life again. And it, since October the 7th, sadly, tragically, it has come to life. The last few weeks have really shown, whatever its, its faults, it is vitally important that Israel should exist. For me, it's the younger people that I really, really worry about. I think it's getting bigger, and I think social media has a huge part to play, and I think it's up to all of us, whoever, whatever background, to just say no. Just say, we don't, wanna, we don't want more brawl. Frankie is probably the youngest marcher here today, um, but, you know, every night when I'm feeding Frankie, I think of that nine-month, now ten-month-old baby, Kafir, and I think that could be Frankie, and that's why I'm here. For a while, it's felt lonely to be Jewish. It's felt slightly um, worrying and to see the sea of humankind from every background, every community across our country standing alongside us in solidarity. What more is there to say? Sometimes it feels we're alone. This shows us that we're not. All right, well, we've started now. We can hear enormous cheers. We hear that Tommy Robinson has been arrested round the corner, so I'm assuming that there was some trouble brewing. Watch out, watch your back! There's an enormous police contingent here protecting the marchers, feeling slightly exposed right at the front, hoping that the crowd's supportive of anti-racism. <laughs> To think that we should have to do this in this day and age is terrifying. And the sound of my parents turning over in their graves. I mean, for what? Every friend of mine with a Jewish child, with a child that goes to a Jewish yeah. school has been told to take their blazers off, take your Mogin David off, exactly. hide your Jewishness. This is crazy. So I'm very proud to have my daughter Saskia marching alongside me. But I think it's important to raise your voice when you feel injustice and raise your voice when you feel like something's wrong. And I don't want to live in a country where people say that and say is OK. It is not acceptable. I'm here because I want to stand in solidarity with my Jewish friends, but also because I come from the East End, and the East End is a very diverse culture, and I was privileged enough to be brought up with that diverse upbringing. I'm very proud to march alongside you. And I'm very proud to march alongside you. What do we want? Stop the hate! What do we want it now? What do we want? Stop the hate! What do we want it now? Act against hate before it's too late. Act against hate before it's too late. Act against hate before it's too late. People feel very emotional, very subdued, very sad. There are still so many hostages that haven't been returned. I think people are amazed that we feel that we need to protest against anti-Semitism in this wonderful country that we all love. Tom, tell us why you've come today. Well, I've come because anti-Semitism has no place in our society. We know that it's absolutely horrendous to see such scenes as we've seen in our country in recent weeks. 
and I'm here to say that it's not on. There are tens of thousands of people here, not only Jews, but non-Jews as well. And it's just, it's just a wonderful thing to feel so um, included and welcome and uh, proud to be British as well. Have you felt that your life has changed in the last seven weeks? 100%, unfortunately, not for the better, terribly. Um, and in what sort of way? Not feeling safe, not, you know, trying to not go to places I would normally go to, feeling, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> That's all it's saying, just peace. This march is all about peace and just treating human beings as human beings. That's all it is. Wow. I haven't really stopped crying since, quite frankly.